We now continue the conversation with Anthony Feliciano and Beau Monarch as they delve back into their memories of being extras on the sets of Jurassic World. You were a lab person. That was my first day there, actually. Um, and it, it was pretty strange because, like, no one knew like what I was supposed to be. <laughs> so it was just like, you're a visitor, you're a scientist, you're a staff worker. And it was like this like weird, like constant ping ponging of what I was going to be. Uh, eventually they settled on staff workers. So they had like this uniform for me. And interestingly enough, my, um, I had like a little name tag on my corner. That was like a magnet that like went onto the clothes and it, it, it was the Jurassic Park logo, but it had like a name in it and the name was Christopher. So I was like, all right, I guess that's my name. How cool. And underneath it, you know, like how if you go to like Universal or Disney, they have like a name tag and underneath it, it's like your favorite movie or favorite character or whatever. So they had something cool like that. It was like favorite dinosaur, but I did not have a dinosaur on mine. It said favorite dinosaur and they said Dimetrodon. And I was like, prehistoric reptile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, that's not right. <laughs> so I remember being in the set and it was it was incredible. Like they everything you see there was built it was like these glass walls and the amber props and all the, the amber corner. stones yeah and they had like little like uh models of skeletons of dinosaurs and the detail i mean you know no surprise see, they didn't have that yet oh when, when you were there they didn't have that no the oh, skeletons wow. weren't there so i saw the amber walls and i was excited about that because it reminded me of the novel and woo pulling right. out you know but yeah I, I didn't see any of that full set dressing that's so cool yeah and it was incredible and it looked like it looked so real and they had the hammond statue there so like it, it it was two different sets but i guess like to connect them digitally like they had the statue there and it was so insane to see and it was before like anyone knew that was a thing because i think richard At attenborough was alive by that time i think when he passed away colin shared the photo and that's when it was released um i remember looking at it being like oh my god like this is insane like this movie's gonna be nuts and it was so cool but like trying to like play it really cool and <laughs> being like i'm totally just a normal person guys not a crazed obsessed fan and uh i remember this one scene actually i met, I met bryce there because bryce dallas howard's in that scene so nice like like a genuinely nice person and i i feel bad doing this now but <laughs> as a more experienced actor but i remember at the time she was rehearsing that line that she was saying about no one's impressed with a dinosaur anymore she was like rehearsing that line over and over again and uh i you know obviously i know who she is so i remember i just like kind of glanced over and like waved high and she like smiled and waved high back and i feel bad doing that now because i'm like poor lady's trying to like memorize her lines and i'm just like <laughs> <So>. <laughs> yeah. but she was really nice about it on the way up the stairs to the mosasaur colin was there the first day because he was directing the kids so so apparently directors aren't supposed to direct extras. I didn't know that. I only recently learned that. That's why the the AD. The ADs. Yeah. Directs you. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea. But so on the way, I'm like, this is so cool. Thank you. And he's like, no, no problem. N nods at me. Aww. And I'm just, and now, but now I'm like, you asshole. You. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not supposed no. to know any better because you're supposed to just be extras, random yeah. people. So, yeah. 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 Cool. Usually. But also, like, I think he did direct me at one point. Um, if, he, so if they were in, so in the scene with Bryce, he would have. Yeah. So if you're there with the the main actors in, like, the little so bubble, it's going to be in frame. Yeah. Mm, that makes sense. And I remember uh, being so nervous. Like, even though I'm in the background. It was my first day, and I'm on a Jurassic set. Like, my heart was, like, beating in my throat. Like, I was like, this is this can't like the camera's like right there and like i'm on a jurassic lab set like this is incredible so but i remember just like trying to like play it cool and i was actually giving real dinosaur facts to the other extras there i was like mouthing little, little, little there was like a spinosaurus like a little miniature spinosaurus skeleton in one corner and i was like that one was in the third movie but da, 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 like going into this whole thing so like it wasn't really much acting on my part i was doing my part as a tour guide to be there typecast <laughs> yeah exactly exactly and i was like oh this is great i can pull this off and i remember there's this they shot a scene that was or it wasn't really a scene it was a shot of a little girl it's not in the movie but um a little girl in the in the lab watching like a hologram of mr dna 
And I remember Colin was directing her being like, okay, it's going to pop up and it's going to say this thing. So like, you know, here's your eye line, you know, go this way. Wasn't in the movie, but it's kind of a cool fact to see like this other shot that wasn't there. And there's something about kids too, it must be, because on the Innovation Center set, he was directing the kids that yeah, were supposed yeah. to be seeing Mr. DNA and like what that IMAX visual, like the exploding meteors and stuff. And he was having the hardest time corralling those kids and getting them to oh. look at these empty screens. <laughs> <Little brats. laughs> they had a much easier time with the little girl with the globe that's like touching it and pulling oh, yeah. stuff out. Uh, at one point, I... So I'm with my little extra group and the AD is doing like the Mr. DNA speech. He's getting it wrong. And I'm turning around, I'm like, why am I not over there doing this? And, I'm, yeah. and I do it for them. And they're like, wow, you, you did it. And I was like, I know I did it. I could do it. So it was kind of interesting that Mr. DNA would have at some point have been in the lab. But I guess like it's already in another part of the movie. So why have it twice? <laughs> Well, and some sh stuff was shot for the viral marketing that we saw, like for the website and everything. So some of those things, I think, did end up getting used, just not just for the movie itself. So that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. I remember filming the lab scene, and that was done like fairly quickly, like only a couple takes, and then moved on. And I remember in the middle of the day, or maybe towards the end of the day, they kind of told all the extras, they went, anyone who wants to go home, like stand in the left corner, anyone who wants to go stay, go in, in the other corner. And I remember, like, I'm the first one to stay. I'm, like, <laughs> trying to, like, run out. Like, I'm not going anywhere. And they kept us for the scene where Ifran Khan comes in to talk to um, B.D. Wong. And I remember <laughs> there was this... They, this is the, the case where they did not tell me the context of the scene that we were in. All they had told me was, you know, you're the, you're the tour guide and dinosaurs are out. You have to get everyone out of the lab. So I'm thinking, like, I'm going to be scared, but, like, trying to, like, keep calm and, like, get people out. Um, so I remember just being in the corner and uh, <laughs> thank God off screen, because, like, it's you can't see it in the movie. But I remember just like, kind of acting like, get out, get out, get out, get out, go, get out, go, get out, go. <laughs> thank God it's Let's not in the go movie. Faster. In the context of the movie, it's just, like, they didn't tell the guests that. Like, they just, like, you got to go. But like they told me, the dinosaurs are out. So I'm thinking like, and people need to be running. Like, get out, get out, go, go, go. Thank God it's not in the movie because I would have looked so stupid. <laughs> They're probably just like, oh, that poor tiny little idiot just trying his best. <laughs> hey, well, that's the assistance part. Our, you know, wrongful yeah. information to you. Yeah, direction. Yeah, I was like, I need a little bit better direction next time. Yeah. Well, they, so, okay. So the first day, the direction was you you're surprised by the bleachers like oh, so really? that's why i'm looking around like a jackass as the bleachers start moving <laughs> obviously everybody would know like how would this be a surprise for anybody that is coming to this feeding show <laughs> very true <laughs> so you, that was the end of your first day yeah that was the end of my first day and that was supposed to be my only day and then you and then actually that. Yeah, what happened other was extra, right? Exactly. I was actually supposed to go home the next day, like fly back to New York, and like New York was having a storm or something, and the flights were canceled for like two days, so I had to stay where I was. And thankfully, I was there because otherwise, I wouldn't have been in the Moses or scene. <laughs> I was like, "Thank you, Lord. Thank you, any anyone who's like making this happen. Thanks, please. Thank you." <laughs> Did Colin tell us on day two that it would be part of the trailer? So that's funny. Um, I... Or is that something that he told us day one? Because he told I he told us. Probably day I... one, because I had no idea about that. Okay, yeah, he said, you'll probably see your work come November. Or come wow. Thanksgiving. And I remember being so excited for the trailer. And right smack dab, I was like, me? <laughs> That's what? awesome. Yeah. That's so great. But yeah, so my first day, um, I spent that first while in extra holding. And then they called in people that hadn't been in. And we shot, I was on like the second or third floor of the Innovation Center, however far up they built. So you can see like my backpack at the bottom of my pants. But that was when Claire comes in and is meeting the nephews and the... Uh, the assistant. Yes. Yep. Zara. Who, who gets... 
poor girl. <laughs> yeah, destroyed. <laughs> destroyed. Best scene in the whole movie. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I do love that scene though. Yeah. Like once we get into, yeah, that stuff's good. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I would love to play that character. Like, oh, if I were ever die in a Jurassic Park movie, if it's not that epic, I'm like, <laughs> that is, yeah, one of the best deaths in the entire series. Like, it's just so memorable. <laughs> yeah it's memorable i I don't want to get too much into it but like i'm it's memorable but like the the thing that's weird to me it's like that's like majority of her screen time in the entire movie it's like that death scene i'm just like holy shit she she owned it like she did it all the stunts herself as i know that behind the scenes stuff is insane yeah Yeah. (laughs) but yeah so that was the first one um and then we all left and we broke for lunch or something and came back and that's where you see the Innovation Center picture that I sent you where Pratt's standing like right by me. Yeah, so, that's on the viral oh, wow. website. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they were shooting the next scene they shot. They shot a sequence with like that person that's standing in front of him talking to him. And then Claire comes in and is talking about and he chastises her for not knowing her nephew's names. Yeah. And all that <laughs> stuff. And I'm sitting right behind him. I'm like, oh, wow. if, if I guess I might like Chris Pratt ass level. If I if I had look. <laughs> but he was I, I don't know what I don't keep up with him or anything. I know there's shitty things, there's good things, whatever. But he was real nice to everybody. Uh he talked to the kid that was with me, was a local, and talked to him about crawdads and crawdad season. He's like, You're not gonna get any year. It's out of season right now. You're not gonna get the best ones. You gotta come back. <laughs> <laughs> I was really interested to find out that they moved the Hammond statue for the connection because I was real interested about how seamless that looked because in the innovation center when we were there first time it was just the wall of green behind him but they also shot you know the scene where claire sees the little girl and is reminded to think about her nephews where the mom is reunited yeah while she's in the control room yeah they shot that as a full sequence like we were uh choreographed walking around the whole thing i figured that was going to be like and they had like a zooming and so i thought this was going to be like a big shot and it is right and then the last thing they had to shoot in the innovation center was running out in terror. They're like every they're behind you. You're and so but I'm also expecting that in the movie that there will be dinosaurs tearing through the innovation center after. Yeah. Us. And oh, that fascinating. Stuff, yeah, as far as I know, that stuff became like on the viral site, like you said, camera feed footage. Yeah. That they put up after the movie came out. I don't remember if I yeah. ever like yeah myself. because on the website before the movie came out like all the camera feed was just kind of like normal day-to-day operations and you can still see on archive.org you can see the old versions and you can compare to the you know post movie versions where it is people running and I guess just to make clear for people who are you know watching or listening you guys were not at the abandoned six flags exterior sets that's totally different location I mean it's not too far from where you guys were but yeah, the exterior shot of the main street and everything and the exterior of the Innovation Center, like that's a totally separate exterior set only, just so people are confused. But you you guys were all in the interiors. So yeah, it's pretty exactly. awesome. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And that was, uh, it was through the other extras sitting around that I found out like the same way you did. They'll, they'll take you back the next day. Because some of yeah. the people that um, I had been talking to had been at Six Flags. So the first time I went down is when I got my map. That's how I have my map and my slap band and stuff. So apparently Six Flags time, they were gifting extras the slap bands. They were letting people have theirs from the day. When I was there the first time, they were collecting all our props at the end of the day. Did they do that with you with the big trash? Yeah, bag? they held onto your driver's license. So that way it was like an insurance policy that you would give. They didn't back. do that the first time I was there. It was between the first time I was there and that second time the map was. And that's when, because it says in the earlier documents that they would do that, but they didn't do that for me the first day. That's how I I have a map. And it got wet, and so I took it back and I swapped it out, and so I had one to turn in the next time. You are a Nedry. You are such a Nedry. I had to to figure out a way, man. I I could have also made it out with my extra shirt. There was nobody else in the wardrobe tent but the three of us, and they were huge, like, separated off rooms. Weren't worried. Which was, I, I appreciate the trust, you know, and so I was not going to betray that, but I already had my map from previous. Well, especially with so many props for extras like that. I mean, we all know usually what happens to them. They either just get locked away like the Ark of the, Ark of the Covenant, or they just get thrown away. Yeah. So it's like, why not just let you guys keep them? So And my map, my map, as I've told Derek, has become the map. 
It's the one I've seen. It's on Parkpedia. Um, oh, no it way. was in it was in an Empire article with Colin and Jay Bayona. It's on the RLM review of Fallen Kingdom. You can tell because it's got a, a specific crease from having to double fold it over, but trying to fold it real softly so it didn't do that. And then my second day was Mosasaur day one with the kids out in the bleachers and everything. And it was that day that I locked my keys in my car and a different extra that I had met took me out on the town for gator dogs, which are delicious. What? Wow. <laughs> I really missed out. Yeah. And like pointed stuff out to me. It was, it was, it was great. It was a real nice, every extra that I ran into was just so nice. And everybody seemed oh, to just enjoy being there. Yeah, everyone was so incredibly nice. <laughs> I'm a New Yorker, so like I'm always like very like cautious when I see a nice person. Like someone's like, good morning, and I'm like <laughs> But like God, everyone was just so pleasant to be around. <laughs> and the other stuff, I don't know if you remember seeing being built around the old visitor center, but they were building the elevator. So I'm guessing oh. they must have shot that separate. It was just like over in a corner. I, I wandered as much as I could. And that's the elevator that goes up to the control room that's supposed to be in the That's all I can center. figure it is. I don't remember yeah. any other elevator. Yeah. You actually just reminded me. There was, um, I don't think this was in the movie, but there was, and, and tell me if you remember this. There was this um, large steel wall with maybe like, with like claw marks and blood all over it. Do you remember seeing something like that? It was like so. gray steel and like, you know, like how the third it movie feels, has like those claw it marks. It feels like it was probably something to do with Hoskins' death. Maybe, I would bet. but they were like giant, maybe. like scratches. It, it looked like like a like I guess it would be the Indominus or something like that. Maybe so maybe it was, it was some... something for that. Was it the interior maybe. of the gift shop? Did so they... the interior yeah. of the gift shop was there. They did the exteriors at Six Flags, um, and so they had built it. The ex- none of the actors saw it because they weren't there at night, but they saw like the destroyed set they were shooting in. And then I saw the what they had built. They also had the interior of the ACU ambulance in the same yes. warehouse as the visitor center. And I don't know if you remember seeing, you worked with Wong the day before, which is so cool. I, I just got to see him. Uh, he walked by and they were like, do not go in this room. So there's somewhere else. So I guess maybe his secret lab might have been in the oh. same building as the visitor center. And that sounds about right. Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, it, it was a thing that we were made. It was made explicitly clear, and like they didn't really mind us looking at the old visitor center. So it had to be something. Yeah, you think it would have been like the old visitor center? They wouldn't want anyone to see because that's such an iconic recreation. Yeah, you know where you could hide it. It <laughs> it was huge, and they had live plants. You yeah. could hear the bugs in it. <laughs> that's so like, cool. I forgot about that. It. It was something like something else. Like I would just wish they would have kept it there. But like NASA, go build build another warehouse to build them. We're keeping yeah. this. Well, and even the innovation center set. Like I know um, when people were first seeing like leaked photos or anything, they're like the green screen. I was like, but but they built the full t- first two floors. They've got like that yeah. whole area around with all the placards. Um, it it and was they, incredible. I was surprised. The most surprising one to me. So I thought there was going to be a raptor. Because right. in the scene where Claire meets up with Owen, they talk about how a Velociraptor hologram is going to pop up. But we didn't know it was just oh. in the context of just popping up. And they're like, and you're all going to be running out of here. And so it led to some weird like dissonance watching the final movie of things where I thought this would be the thing and it was not... Well, the raptor still does go through there um, in the climax when they have the Dilophosaur hologram pop up. So, I mean, not too far off. Oh, yeah. But and yeah, and I don't know if you saw the picture, but the the stickers they put on our cameras when you peel them off would show that they had been peeled because they were like a solid gold with the word Ebb Tide on them. And when you peel, they would reveal in gold lettering like voided or something. Yeah. <laughs> so that they could And I didn't check. notice that. The first time, because my first day there, I kept the stickers because they were just on my phone. I peeled them off when I got back to my hotel. And then when I, ca- when I got called back for the next day, I just put the, st- the same stickers I already had back on my phone. But then I realized they said void. And I was like, oh, God, please don't tell me I'm going to get fired. I'm like, I swear I did not take any photos. <laughs> please don't kick me out. Thankfully, no one noticed. I, I did take photos, but I immediately emailed them to myself and deleted them from my phone. <laughs> 
Nedry. <laughs> no, Nedry. You work, you work what you gotta work. But it's cool though, because like if you didn't do that, like all that would be really lost to our memories and time for the most part. Because like yeah. once it's filming's over, how much it's demolished is gone. Yeah. You know, like and I, I get it. Where are you gonna store it? it yeah, like, it costs I, money. And... Did you guys ever try to be extras on Fallen Kingdom or Dominion? Like, did you like look into it, or was it just kind of impossible? I looked into it because I was like. I'm going to bring this character back. I didn't die. But as soon like all of the filming was pretty much like the UK. Right. And, and some Hawaii. Did they shoot anywhere? Uh, Malta. But I mean, like, did they shoot anywhere else? Like continental US? Because that's I my, think so. like I, at the time, wasn't in financial straits to do anything but drive. So that, that's why I drove instead of flying. And so they're, you know, even... Like, I'm finally settled into a nice, solid life where, yeah, but anything where it was out of country, pretty much, or out of continental United States was... So no Canada, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I I did try to get into both of them, because I the second one was in Hawaii for a little bit, and then, but that's, like, way too far, but, like, or at least for me, but I would have went if... I had been invited. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that went, that didn't go anywhere. And then for the third one, I mean, that's when COVID really was everywhere. And although interestingly enough, I kind of did get to like dip my toe into Dominion's production a little bit because um, I'm not sure if you guys had seen the video that I, I produced with my friend, Tim, who directed, um, it's called Dinosaurs in Our World. It's like a series of news yeah. reports. Mm-hmm. Uh, because of that, Colin invited us to the premiere of Dominion. Oh, which that's so, right. <laughs> yeah, which was so nice. And he's like, you know, just goes to show like what a down to earth, nice guy he is to like even acknowledge us and to like, you know, just invite us to like this, you know, this religious experience that we would feel as Jurassic fans. Yeah. Um, I did not go because I got COVID right before. <gasps> oh, that's I got, right. No. I forgot. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, I, I was invited. We were invited like the day before. But that morning, I tested positive for COVID. Oh, my God. <laughs> so I could not go. But uh, my team was able to go. And uh, they and they got to meet Colin uh, in person. Even and I was like, I don't already know Colin. You know, we worked together before in this little movie called Jurassic World. <laughs> I was like, you know, kind of like, you know, in the movie, kind of. <laughs> like, so many people in the world have seen you, even though they, they don't know. It's just a weird feeling. <laughs> Absolutely. And I had, like, two major fears going into the movie either i get cut from the movie and like if i'm cut like who the hell is going to believe i was ever there there's no evidence besides like this little wristband that i have <laughs> but there it, um, is. it was either yeah there it is um it was either that or what if i'm like the worst extra in the world and i get made fun of for the rest of my life if that happens and thankfully neither happened so but Here's um here's a demonstration. It's like made of rubber, actually. This little wristband. There yeah. you go. You just slap it on. <laughs> oh, I love it. I have a blue one too, because uh, I saw this one the kids were wearing, and so I was like, yeah. Ah. And I gave it to the wife while she was away at college, and she's not sure where it is. Nice. Is yours starting to deteriorate? Because mine, I'm not sure if you guys can see, but it's starting. It's starting to show its age. It's almost ten years old. I can't tell, but yeah. <laughs> no, not so. It's slightly more. I'm sure you also can't like tell from no. this, but it's slightly more <laughs> off-white. This feels like that scene in Jaws where you guys are comparing like your scars, you know, to each other. <laughs> Derek has one of my props. I gave it to him as a gift recently. It's one of the canvas bags. Nice. Like the part because they just like handed them out willy-nilly. And as long as you yeah. have something to hand back to the prop people for your ID. Here's the bag that Bo graciously gave me that you were nice. holding when you got uh, soaked by the Mosasaur, right? So it's got actual Mosasaur water on this. So I'm like, oh my god! Until it dried, it, you know. <laughs> no, it's still on it. Okay, don't ruin my. I bet if you, I bet if you did like a chemical test, it probably technically would be because I've never washed it. It's been safely stored with my other props until. Oh, good. No washing. Nice. Never wash anything <laughs> ever except yourself. So. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh, right. <laughs> I just buy new clothes. I, I know I have all of the money. Oh, okay. All yeah. the Jurassic royalties that I get from being an extra. Exactly. Real, yeah. real, 
Rolling You're so up. extra, Bo. So extra. Yeah. <laughs> Here it is. Oh, the famous brochure. Yeah, that's insane nice. to have that. So you didn't get one of those, Anthony, or you had to give it back? I think I did have one, but I did have to give it back. Oh, man. Yeah, they yeah. did give me one, right? By the second time around, they were taking IDs. I guess that's probably why. Props. It probably got out by that point. And uh -huh. then they were like, all right, it's, let's... Cause yeah, it was much more draconian the second, like, as far as getting the stuff back. Because the right. first time at the end of the day, they just had the trash bag and... So the way I got my first wristband, I just sort of leaned forward and like moved my hand like I was tossing something. <laughs> so one of the days I don't, I, for the life of me, I wish I could remember how it happened. But on the way to set, we ended up, the bus, the back tires of the bus ended up in a ditch. And so we're on the way to set and we're just stuck. And like there's people coming around and like in panic mode because they're like, these people need to be at set. We're shooting. I don't oh, know how you managed that, but it was it was God. it was a thing that happened. I don't remember much about it now, but we did. The bus went in the ditch. On the Making movies side. comes with the complications, right? It's always <laughs> funny because you don't think about those little things that can cause a hiccup, and you know that could potentially push things off schedule. And movies are very expensive to make, and any slight delay, you know, people go into overtime, and you need people longer. And All major feature up. films have delays. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. I love all these. These are Thank brilliant. <laughs> I'm a really good clapper because I clapped in the movie. So like now I'm like an expert. <laughs> it's your calling card. <laughs> yeah. So here's the thing. It's I have no faxes, but it's the thing I'm thinking about now. That was day two. So that was my first day in the bleachers. So I wonder if that delayed it enough that that's why they had to do second day. Could, if you're possible. the reason why I got to be in this movie, like, could, could you could you. you imagine if the bus driver edited? It? I mean, that would be a fantastic. Like, I will believe it because that sounds very dramatic, and I love it. So it's <laughs> canon now. My, it's, it's canon. canon. <laughs> <laughs> well, how, what'd you guys feel about the movie when you first saw it? Because when I I could I felt like I saw the movie seven times, but I saw it with like different people. Uh -huh. I'd be like, I'm in a movie. Like, <laughs> like let's. <laughs> let's go see it so i saw it with several different people but the first time i saw it i really couldn't enjoy it because i was just so paranoid the entire time being like please tell me i'm in this movie <laughs> see i was more i watched it twice the first night both in imax oh, and i got wow. like the, the seat right next to the other seat because i knew that i was putting a whole bunch of pressure on the movie from yeah. 14 years of waiting Yes. And I wasn't going to be able to enjoy myself. And I was just going to have to take in the plot now and sit back and enjoy it the second show. And I, I enjoyed it the first show, but like, it was more of a, oh, don't, don't be terrible. Please <laughs> right. don't be terrible. I remember when I first saw Jurassic World, I was kind of just like, cause like you said, 14 years of waiting, making all this stuff up in your head and then like seeing something that like, maybe I would have went in another direction on certain things. So I remember at first I saw it, I was kind of just like, Eh. now I've come around to be like enough time has passed where I've like lived with it. And I'm like, actually it's pretty solid. When I saw Jurassic world, I saw it like 10 times because I'm crazy. So I saw it 10 times, but the all three of us are, we're all, we're yeah. all at least over yeah. five. I think I'm yeah. probably around seven as well. Yeah. Yes. And I, th I think it was because I was like trying to make up for lost time, all like 14 right. years of, of nothing. Cause we didn't know for sure there would be sequels after this. So I was like, I'm going to, see as many times as i can um and the first time and then I saw the it, dollars came in and we were like oh, oh people yeah. want us like I, yeah i remember people making some predictions and i was like i'm excited about this too but i think and then they were right yeah everyone i feel like a lot of industry professionals and like trackers they really like underestimated how yeah. much everyone they did. were like yeah, and it was yeah. so like gratifying, like waiting all these years to see like the franchise you loved during the dead period, like be like the most popular movie of all, you know, like the third most popular, whatever it was, and it was just like, damn, like I'm glad it's, I'm glad it came alive yeah. again. Like, yeah. It, oh yeah, it took it, on a new life. Now we are uh, legacy characters, I guess. <laughs> we we are. They can make toys of us someday when they make toys of every single character, oh. and they'll give us like weird little names, like Star Wars characters. <laughs> <laughs> Did they do this to you? They 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 took photos of like some of us, and they were like, 
you could be like on an action figure like your likeness could be on an action figure no and i remember so being you, like please <laughs> so the picture they were taking those of you people that did the green screen stuff so yeah. i don't know if they, so were they like making composites of you like were they placing you guys other places too is that... that's where i was i i i looked for that like there almost anywhere a 3d model of you somewhere in ilm's <laughs> database <laughs> Oh my god. You're oh my probably god. in a bunch of other movies you'll even know about. <laughs> yeah. Just... <laughs> oh my god, that'd be like so cool. I probably didn't. I honestly Mark yeah. Hamill it and get all the toys. <laughs> <laughs> and make no money off of it. <laughs> of course. That's the way. This is the way. I think it was just such an honor to be a part of it and like even such a small way to you know, maybe it seems silly to be like we're in a Jurassic Park movie, but like for being in it for, but we are a part of it, and I think it should be cool. And I say uh, that both ironically and unironic. Like it's, <laughs> it's freaking dope. You know, yeah, but we were there for filming, like, it's and just... to be a part of the legacy, and just you know, I, I think everyone who was there, you know, Jurassic had been kind of dead for a while, but everyone there loved the first movie. I think every single person. I think that's why it was such a positive set. Because, like, everyone just wanted to be there and never, I mean, I don't know, I, at least for me, it didn't feel like work. It was like, yeah, I'm on a no. vacation. And, and they, they, they paid me and they fed me to, to be there. I would have done it for free. Oh, yeah. I lost money doing it. Like, I think, oh, yeah. like, like I, I, but, like, I'm like, it's fine. <laughs> like, uh-huh. I, I'm it's here it's an experience that, that I'll never get to have again. Yeah. And, and now we'll forever be a part of Jurassic Legacy. In the next segment, I am joined with Brent Kappel, who also became an extra for Jurassic World. Our conversation begins with a detailed look at the massive Main Street set.